you see the update from Trinov? Mm-mm. Okay. They had one a while back, but is it something new? Mm, let's see. How new is this? They had one. It's probably it's been like three or four March weeks. 30th. Yes, I, I knew yeah. about that one. Yeah. I thought you meant like this week. Yeah, so I just saw yeah. this recently. Um, so for any of you who have a Trinov, mm-hmm. I, I guess it's coming out pretty soon. When is it? Third week of April mm-hmm. for the altitude 16 and 32. And uh, so one of the things that it does is it does better, I guess, noise rejection. So it tries to find out what is noise and what is not. So mm-hmm. you get a better uh, calibration that way. Uh, this adaptive stuff seems kind of like a kind of like the headroom expansion that we were talking about for Odyssey. I don't know if you've seen the the uh, live stream that I did with with Eric Newman at Odyssey, but they have some new features in Odyssey. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if this is exactly the same. Right. Reduced pre ringing, but this is what I thought was interesting. It's like predefined target curves. Mm-hmm. Um, it says until now there has only been one predefined target curve in altitude processors, which is a flat response curve. Mm-hmm. While this may be suitable for studio or near field environment, it is not for a home theater. This m- meant that alternative target curves would have to be created by the calibrator or mm-hmm. imported from a previous curve. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I've never played with uh, a trend off. So yeah, me neither. The fact that they could import, cool. That's a good thing, right? Especially for what I'm doing with the new new app, I need to be able to import target curves. That's the whole point of the app. But I thought it was interesting that they didn't have predetermined uh, mm-hmm. curves. I guess they have like flat, light, moderate, strong, and musical, right? Um, and so, yeah, flat for those who wish. Okay, light bass increase. So I guess it's just different mm-hmm. levels of bass yeah, and sure. treble. Just a little different curve on each one. Uh, musical. I'm kind of curious about that. A target curve balanced towards listening to music. Yeah, like what is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, so cool. Uh, you know, any I updates? Have, I have a feeling I'd, I'd want number five. What do you think? Number five, strong. Yeah, yeah. You gotta I have that emotion. Bass. <clears throat> want some bass in that bad boy. Um. So yeah, Music I think that's strong, cool. Uh, my answer is custom target curve all day. All right, don't use these predefined ones, you know. I think it's it, just a know, good, it's yeah. a good start, you know. It could be. It could be a good it could be better than nothing, but it's right. so interesting that for, the guy, was for the guy that doesn't want to mess with it, I think having some presets would be beneficial for the average guy. If you have a processor you're not, you're that's not that expensive, average. you should have but, somebody just do it. <laughs> True, that's true. You should have a professional calibrator, and they yeah, should. Be it doesn't doing make sense manual. to go in there yeah. like, ah, oh, let me just do auto. Uh, no, no. Yeah. Let somebody go and set it yeah. up properly. Hopefully, they understand how to do. Right. Uh, good measurements. measurements. Yeah. I haven't seen somebody do it yet, but um, yeah. Hopefully, the magic beans will take care of all of that. So, yeah. If anybody has a, a trend of, by the way, that has like the import, I'm, I'm kind of curious because I would like to support. Uh, trend off anyway that's new what else oh, yeah, yeah 30 thirty thousand dollars is not cheap 30 g's about 16 for the 16 and 30 something for the 32 man i'm, I'm surprised that, that the default was flat i guess it's almost like they're assuming yeah you should somebody's somebody gonna tweak that. it yeah Does anybody yeah. who's ha- heard flat at your main listening position in a normal sized room even th- they even say it here mm-hmm. like it says uh while this may be suitable for a studio or near field environment, it's not ideal for home theater. Like, yeah, definitely yeah. not ideal for home theater. It's not going to sound good. So it's kind of interesting that that was their only predefined <laughs> part. Of Reverend Slim, I like your comment. He says, unless it does better money rejection, I'm out. Money rejection. <laughs> um, uh, Randall says, can you explain what you do with Magic Beans? Mm-hmm. Are you just reviewing? room measurements and applying your own curves. Uh, it's proprietary. So I'm not going to, you know, say exactly how we do everything, but um, yeah, it's magical. It's magic. It's just magic. It just works. The, what I'm hoping is once it's released, we'll get some people giving feedback and the results will speak for themselves. Right. You know, you don't want to reveal the magic trick that takes away the fun. If it, <laughs> if it works, it's all that if, it works if it sounds better, 
then good. If it sounds worse, then reviews will be negative. And why would you ever use that? You know, so it'll be pretty easy. Any news? Any news? Let's, I'm just going to go into some questions here. Any news? Any news on the Magical Beans app? Truthfully, I have to have so many reviews that I need to just catch up on. And the plan is to just get them all out, you know, catch no. up, do all of them. And then I'm not going to accept any more reviews from that point. It's all about just getting this released. Right. So it's just tough. Not enough time in the day. All right. So, but it's very close. It's very close. I'm super excited. He's closer this month than it was last month. Yes. Yes. Working on it. That's it's exciting. the first That's thing. Awesome, let's man. put it this way. It's the first thing I do every morning is work on that. Right. I wake up, look at my phone and then start working. So is it iOS or Android or both? iOS, Android, Mac, PC. Cool. Unfinished business asked. Yes. Yes. Um, are you planning on doing a master class on multi queue? Uh, ye yes. So, <laughs> so this is an old. This is an old thing. Like, that ye I to yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was like I had to think about that one. So here's the thing. I've been <laughs> promising this for a long time, and for anybody who's on the waiting list, they're like, what? "This dude's never going to do it, right?" But the thing is that this app that we're making is going to make a huge difference in, in this, right? It's going to be the tool that you're going to want to use. So I could have either just taught the class mm -hmm. and it would have taken days to teach people how to do this or develop a process that can be used in an app. And the masterclass would just be more about how to use the app properly, how to, how maybe some custom it. things, you know? So that's, that's basically it. So it's not that I forgot about it. It's more like we repackaged it and made it something that everybody could afford. So today I talked to my friend who's a car audio guy. He's also a lawyer. And I said like, hey, how much do you guys charge? He's like a thousand bucks, a thousand bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So my services are not thousand bucks, but they're more than I would want to pay. Right? I wouldn't want to pay, you know, 200 bucks or whatever it is for my services because I know how to do it, first of all, right? But also like, it's a lot of money, right? So the idea is I would rather this be available to more people. And it took a while to do that. But the idea is to make it available to more people rather than just select few people who can afford to pay me to do it. Right? So that's the idea. And I'll, I'll make more money that way, by the way, I think. Right? Just because not everybody can afford for me to do their stuff. So sure. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. Three hundred dollars per hertz. <laughs> Three hundred per hertz. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah. So well, I'm just busy. He, yeah, he asked that one. I, was he, gonna, I gotta make some money, man. I mean, I've been. I told him it'd be. I told him it'd be paid with ads. Yeah, even better, right? No, no ads. No, no, that's <laughs> no ads. Um, so yeah, it, it will be paid and. I'm hoping it's something that everybody will say totally worth it, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be everybody, right? Yeah. So a lot of people, people who have bought the spatial toolkit, they're like totally worth it, right? And then there's some people like, mm, I don't know, but it it's just a tool. So everybody's going to find more or less use out of it. So yeah, That's funny. Um, maybe I wipe out ad. <laughs> I saw that one. Yeah. What other questions do we have? You see any questions that I you didn't want to see? Any, yeah. I think we got to most yeah, of them the, all. Yeah, the ones near the end we saw. Anything else here? Oh, Why is my, my seat making all kinds of squeaking noises? Um, will will it make the wife appreciate the sound improvements? Yes, it should. It should. And I know you're joking, but truth is, right, when your speakers are not calibrated well, let's say if there's too much trouble, everybody doesn't like it. You know, they're like, can, can you turn it down a little bit? Can you turn it down? Right. You hear that because it doesn't sound good. Like, just turn it down. Right. Um, but when your speakers are well calibrated, the tonality is good. 
Mm-hmm. It's almost like what you'll find is you can turn it up and nobody complains. Right? That's how you know your system is sounding good. How about a Floyd tool tar how about a Floyd tool target curve setting on the app? Uh, I don't think he would like that. When I talked to him and I said, Hey, what do you think about everybody using your Harmon target? He doesn't seem to like it. Yeah, he said he said that was never meant to be a target curve. You know, mm-hmm. this is kind of summarizing what he said. Hopefully I get it right. But he said that uh, it was from testing the JBL M2, one of their speakers, in various rooms, and they took the average of those rooms, and that curve, what you see, is the average of those curves. But unless you have a JBL M2, that doesn't apply to you. Your room is not those, not one of the rooms that they tested in. Another reason why you should maybe be, I don't know, a little bit careful when you when you just use that as a as a target curve. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna. I would like to do something like that, though. You know, something where we de- help other people determine what the target curve should be, because this is a Floyd tool. The, the Harmon target curve is a it's a good guess, right? If you had to guess between flat and the Harmon target, I'm choosing Harmon target all day. Yeah, right. It's a better uh, guess. Optimal all the time. Yeah, but it's not going to be perfect all the time. And I keep saying to people. You know, we care about all these things, placement and which components we use, what DAC is in there, what kind of, you know, what kind of amplifier is there, all these things that make some difference. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, after you do all the level matching and time alignment, phase alignment, at the end of the day, what does the calibration ask you? What target curve do you want? Okay, well, that last step is going to make the biggest difference in how your speakers sound. Right, it's a whole you're moving, you're changing up the entire sound of the system. So, isn't that important to get the right one? You know, so that's that's what we're trying to do. What is Tim saying over here? I was looking at Reverend Slim. Uh, okay, hold on. Tim says from an early Magic Beans curve that Joe did for my system, my wife appreciated the difference easily, and it made a big difference to me. Thank you, Tim. Um, what is this? What do you say? A roommate finally asked, dude, do you have to recalibrate or play test tones every <laughs> night? I was like, well, I changed things often just to learn more. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> every night? Yes, you do. After every Monday podcast, we have an after show. If you're interested in joining us, go to patreon.com forward slash daily high five.